Now in business, the federal government has signed an agreement with the United Nations Office for Project Services, UNOPS, to strengthen ties towards achieving the goals of the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. The Minister of Foreign, uh, Geoffrey Oyema, uh, expresses uh, confidence as he says signing the agreement at a period when the world is faced with a pandemic is essential and will provide the framework towards implementing important SDGs projects. So we hope that this um, uh, host country uh, agreement uh, will uh, provide an enabling environment and the framework and indeed the platform uh, for uh, UNOPS to be able to partner uh, uh, with us uh, as a country uh, to help us in uh, implementing um, you know, the projects in our priority uh, areas. And uh, of course these are legion, you know, even energy, agriculture, you name it. Um, uh, UNOPS is um, very versatile <laughs> and, uh, and does engage in literally you know, all, the, all the sectors. So we look forward to a very uh, fruitful and productive uh, partnership uh, with, um, uh, with UNOPS. I believe this agreement is timely, given the increasing presence of UNOPS in Nigeria. Just two days ago, UNOPS launched a new project in Boronu State to provide life-saving oxygen therapy to support the COVID response and the treatment of children suffering from respiratory illnesses. We are in discussion with some states in Nigeria to mobilize investments for affordable housing in those states. We've already started off with um, Ekiti State. This host country agreement will facilitate UNOPS operation in Nigeria and enable an agile and nimble process. UNOPS commits to honor all clauses of the host country agreement. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.